Hey everybody, this is President Hunter Terrace back with another video. I'm here at the Museum of Military History, right there as you can see, in Kissimmee, Florida. I've been wanting to visit here forever, and I'm quite excited. I've heard a lot of good things about this place, and I think there's going to be a lot of neat stuff there. I love visiting different museums, and I think it's important to visit places like this, because it helps keep history alive and never forget the past. So let's head on in and check it out. Okay. Before we head inside, I want to show the front. Looks really epically awesome. I like the color scheme. Very patriotic with the red, white, and blue. Look, looks like they have a tank here in the front. That is awesome. I think it, huh? That's pretty cool. I think it's covered in wood, but that might be to protect it. If this is a real one, it's not kind of like a reproduction for them to look cool in front. Okay, let's head inside. Pretty cool, huh, guys? Looks like these are some autographs of some Medal Honor recipients. Cool place. Looking forward to seeing the equipment over there. This video might be a long one because there's a lot to look at, and I like to show you guys as much as I can. Of course, um, the video is not going to do it justice. You really have to visit here. Uh, simulator. Get some of those bullets and bombs. United States Army Nuclear Biological Chemical Protective Suit. And I wonder how much that really would protect you. Lot to look at. Now let me know if you like me just walking around just like this or spot checking different spots. Yeah, these mannequins really add to the realism of this place. Yeah, this is cool with the dogs. U.S. Air Force Air Police K-9 uniform from Paul Gerard. In the late 50s, this is from. I 
Where have I came here? I want to come here forever. You, if you guys are in the area here in Kissimmee, you should stop by. I'm not going to center on every um, display. There's just too much here. And I would make the video really, really long. I'll make sure I take some pictures. Definitely does bring history to life, doesn't it? Oh, look at that old time typewriter. Old military phone. That is cool. It's probably like a mobile office, I bet. And a lot of nice old maps. Punji sticks or punji stakes. Type of booby trap. Yeah, you could tell that would be a bad trap to step on. I have some TVs where you can watch some videos about some history stuff too. It's probably one of those, yep, one of those ejection seats for F-105 Thunder Chief. I've seen these coins. Every different like military unit has them. Quite a different amount of them. Here's these military rations, MREs, some of the different components. I guess this is broken into like different sections, like. Revolutionary War, World War One, World War Two. The lady was saying. But then this, meandering around. Bet you this is supposed to be for Korea, yeah. A lot of cool stuff. This must be like, for like a traveling mess kit or something, I bet. Yeah, like a traveling kitchen, I mean. I'll do the stuff in the middle last. That'll be the coolest thing to look at, I think. Here's the United States Military Chaplain's Kit. Okay, this is World War II here. Oh, the bathrooms are in back, who need to know? I have been pointing out, but they have a lot of cool planes up there. Model planes. Look at that big gun. Can you imagine getting shot by that thing? Be a very bad day. Sorry, 
I know some of the splice cases had some like foreign currency in it to look at. That's pretty cool. And look, here's a plank piece from the deck of the USS Missouri. On these decks, a sign of the Japanese surrender of World War II took place. It's like right there. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's history in your hands. Wow, I like it. That's pretty neat. A lot of different models for planes and tanks and things. Talks about letters from soldiers here. Pretty cool. I didn't know anyone read the letters I sent you. And as you say, your mother likes me just by the way I write. I thought I was very poor, but she must be a very nice person. There's an MK9 death charge. Nazi uniform. Even on a mannequin, still looks evil looking. Different weapons from different countries. Pretty awesome looking, all that st stuff. History before your eyes. Look at that cool motorcycle. Yeah, it's good advice. Do not touch or sit on that. Looks like it's a 1941 Indian Scout military model 741. This must be World War One. Yep. World War One. So this is a MG08, also called the Devil's Paintbrush. Yeah, I can see why. Well, this must be a reference library they have here. A few 
to look at. Yeah, it has a lot of stuff in here. This is a Civil War section. Buffalo soldiers, I uh, talked to someone and he did, was doing a reenactment of them once. Very interesting. It's on my channel if you want to see it. Wow, this is pretty cool. I just like Civil War history. Billy Yank. Yeah, I can see why they want to touch this place. One of these are. Authentic reproductions. Probably reproductions. That's still pretty cool. I mean, I don't know. There's a Confederate hand grenade. It's a federal ketchup hand grenade there and back. Some of the different bullets. And um, parts of cannonball fragments. Look at these. Yeah, cool. Amazing. That's a tank. Looks like it's um. Well, not quite a tank. A Dammler ferret armored car. Wow. Jeez, can you imagine crawling in there? That would not be easy. You might want one of those things coming after you. I don't know what that means. Slave receptacle inside. Not quite sure. But here's an RV. Not an RV, a um, Humvee, I mean. Oh, it looks pretty big in there. I'm assuming this is supposed to be him, which is Fritz Bearlin of Bearlin. Uh, so here's a little bit of information about him. So 
I'm assuming since he's supposed you know, you see the swastika there. I'm assuming this is a German, yep. See written German stuff on there. Very interesting. At the bottom was wood. It made it pretty realistic. They left some bullets and stuff down there, not right there. Pretty cool. That's an old man again. We have two more here. I'll do this one first. Looks like this is an American MB Willys Jeep. Oh, I should show you inside a little bit more. Good old army green. Wish they'd have the hood up. I'd love to see what the engine looks like. It's a few of these. This is awesome. Seats look pretty good, but they've probably been reupholstered since then. Yeah, you could fit um, a couple guys in back. Or if you really want to squeeze them in. This is another American, and this is American M38 Willys Jeep. So similar to that one back there. This was the outside looked like was I went in came out through here with um library just to let you know. Okay, that's it for the main section. I'll have part of the video showing where you just come in with the um entrance. Uh, it's like a gift shop in there. And of course you'll be um you see what the outside looks like. Which you may have already seen before this or not, it all depends. But that's it. This is a quick little tour. Of course, I'll take some nice pictures. Any comments or questions, let me know. There's lots of nice stuff, and you gotta stop here. This place is cool. And if I see anything else in here that's really cool, I want to send it on. I'll, uh, I'll film it. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye. If you want anything, let me know. Oh, I 
see these. Emergency drinking water. I actually seen someone open one of these up and drink them on camera. Alright, that's it. I uh, finished up with the tour. Really cool stuff. This video does not do this place justice. There's just so much to show. You really got to um, come over here and visit to really get a good full flavor of this place. This is basically just give you a taste of this place. A lot of interesting stuff. Um, uh, they had a very nice guy uh, answering questions there and I gave him my card so you may see this video. Thanks. I appreciate you talking to me and answering some of my questions. But make sure you come and visit. Like I said, you really got to visit places like this. It helps keep history alive, helps remember, because you, you don't want to forget the past. It's very important to remember it all. And this right here behind me houses some very important artifacts, very important information. And we always have to make sure uh, to support places such as this. And I love visiting museums. Um, I haven't done any very much in a while. I did one a couple weeks ago with the Bing Rooming House. Other than that, I haven't really visited a new museum in like forever. So I'm so excited to be able to visit one. Um, and, I'm, and I'm very happy I came here. I'm going to have to try to come here again. It's, this is located in Kissimmee, Florida. If you want to check it out, they have a website and a Facebook page. So make sure you go to it. Um, I have one of their business cards. I think this is a business card for it. Uh, yep. I think this is. So, uh, that. And of course, you can look it up online if you want to check it out. All right, hope everyone enjoys this video and um, look forward to talking again. All right, bye everybody, bye.